So I bought this humane mouse mouse strap. And sorry, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm a little especially because I forgot to do my math homework. Well, I was at my tutor's house and I forgot my planner. That was rude. My planner, which had my math problems in it, so I went to tutoring, left my backpack here, went to grab it, forgot the planner, went back to the tutoring house, and yeah, not my finest hour. But I caught another mousy. It's just a little guy. Eh, it's probably not a little guy. But this is the third mouse I've caught with this trap. I swear they're handmade by Atomic Blonde on Amazon. And you see you just they just set down on the trap right there and the door comes down. I had the trap set for like three weeks and it wasn't catching any mice and I was like, what is the deal? And I realized that I had a piece of cereal underneath the mechanism and that's why I couldn't it wasn't shutting so they were eating all the food which is good because then it lets you know like hey yeah you can come back here and get some food right and then um it was like not closing so it was kind of not beneficial and i made a homemade mouse trap downstairs with a mini trash can and netting and stuff like that but these my mice can jump high so I just, um, I don't know, it's still down there, but it's useless. I should just turn it back in the trash can. All right, time to let the little mousey go, mousey go. You have to pull up this little bar right here, and then you just go back to my house, little mouse. Goodbye, mousey. Alright, I just filled up my son's humidifier, checked on my plants, checked on my tarantula. She's cool. She's been really hungry lately. Maybe I should give her some crickets. Brush my teeth. Put on some sweats. I don't know. So this is my makeup after today. <laughs> my hat. I did it this afternoon and did a cut crease. Ooh, that is not good. You see all that settling into my cut? Only on the one side, huh? That's gross. That's not even cute. Lipstick wore off. Always get a lot of fallout because my mascara, I don't like to use waterproof mascara. I feel like it kills my lashes. So, yeah, this always happens. Raccoon eyes. Gross. Anyways, so. Have you ever noticed that makeup goes on so much better when you have no peach fuzz all over your face? I have peach fuzz. Like, no tomorrow. Super fuzzy. So I, yes, shave my face as often as it takes. To make my makeup go on so much better. Um, I could do it like once a week. Like like on my under my chin, even just it's just what and ever since I got in that car accident of mine, like my chin right here, this huge scar just gets tons and tons of just so I'm like plucking all the time anyway, so I pluck my upper lip, I pluck my chin anything random down here and my eyebrows but I shave my face with my Dollar Shave Club razors Woo! with the edge on their back so just in case I don't shave my or wax my sideburns in, not in time or whatever I just kind of point them out um, and then I wanted to show you guys my face cleaner because I love it so much Eminence is it mono e or mono e? I don't know. Mono i? I don't know. 
age corrective exfoliating cleanser i love it it is so amazing it lasts me over a year like this bottle right here i even use two pumps sometimes like when i, I like wash it and then i wash it again i love it and then today i used my lavender age corrective night concentrate because i wash my face later in the day and then i used my Firm Skin SI Moisturizer. I don't believe in um, under eye. Like I, I mean, I got this as a sample, so I've been using it. My It Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a chump, but I mean, I know my camera's so amazing that you can see everything. But I don't know. I don't feel like I've done anti-aging stuff since I was 21 so yeah I don't know and plus I don't wash my face neurotically like everybody else does washing your face and washing your hair every day is really bad for your um pH levels your skin don't quote me on the pH levels but it's not good for your it's not it's not good so if you wash your face uh, every day then you age yourself by 10 years and if you wash yourself, wash your face twice a day, then you age yourself even further. However, if you condition your skin, then you're doing your uh, skin a lot of favors. Um, people say that they sleep in their makeup at night. People say they can never sleep in their makeup at night, and that's just such a bad thing. Oh my gosh, like warming up your car is such a good thing. No, it's not. It's not. It's not good for your car at all. It's terrible for your car. Don't ever warm up your car. Just don't. It's, it's, these wives tales about all this stuff is crazy. I sleep in my makeup every night. There, I said it. Oh no, they're going to take my kid away. Like they said when I announced that I was bipolar. Oh my gosh, it's Idaho. We're 40 years behind. 27 years behind, maybe. Yeah, I sleep in my makeup. I'm busy. I'm tired. I don't get paid to wash my face. I get paid to be a mom and by the government a little bit, a little bit of assistance there. I get paid at work and if I want to look good, then I get more tips. If I want to look homely, I don't get as much tips. I need to look good for the salon. So, you know, there I get paid, I get paid for that, you know, but I don't get like it's just my face isn't bad it's great it's nice it's fabulous anyways and the whole thing about uh putting deodorant on at night so it's effective for the next day when you put it on during the day it's not effective until the night so you should be putting on your deodorant at night for the next day that's interesting right um i think my makeup is doing so much better because i got the professional back i found it it was underneath my ikea drawers under here i found a whole bunch of random things interesting i probably since i use my fingers for my foundation because it helps it just melt into the skin I, everybody seems to be having a boner for these sponges and they get them damp i don't get it i just don't i don't know I think if you want to pound, some people use a brush. I don't know why you'd want to put foundation into your pores like that. I just, you know, you smooth it in. I think a brush is just too much. And then the sponge thing. I know I've talked about this before, but it's just it's so interesting to me. So I might buy one just to see what all the fuss is about. I use, I mean, I use sponges. When I first started doing makeup, I did sponges. You know those triangle sponges? And I wasted so much product on the sponge and don't understand. But I guess I'll try it. So anything else? Let me think. I don't think so. I need to take my meds before I forget or else I'll have a really horrible day tomorrow. You guys want to see my quote that I put on my chalkboard that I painted over the mirror? I'm going to glue some roses on the outside corner, but it says that is the quote of the week. Maybe a few more weeks since I really like it. 
haven't really found one in my reading yet for um, any further quotations, but I hope my friend will swap me back a quote. My friend Des, hey Des, what's up? Uh, yeah. So, hey, what are you guys' Valentine's Day plans? I am doing hair that night. Matter of fact, we're having a hair party. All my friends that uh, are single are going to come and we're going to have pizza and wine. I don't drink wine, but I mean, they can have wine. I don't care what they drink. And we're going to have a blast. <laughs> and then in the morning at 830, I'm going to take Salem to breakfast at the new restaurant, Abracadabra Breakfast Bistro on Main Street, where the old pizza hut used to be. Apparently, they entertain kids with magic tricks. Sounds entertaining, and I love being entertained. Sorry, that was bad. So, good night, everybody, and, um, yeah.